What's going on, YouTube? Tim Moose here. Now, with White Loss Season 3... Oh, sorry about that. With White Loss Season 3 already um, in the pipeline, we still, of course, don't really know who's going to be in it. And all, but it looks like one person who is coming in, who's already been in the um, series, is um, actress Natasha Rothwell. According to Deadline... Uh, Natasha Rothwell we will return to the White Lotus for season three. Uh, Variety has learned from multiple sources close to the um, production. Rothwell was a, a fan favorite in season one as spa manager Belinda Lindsay, who was shrugged um, along by wealthy resort guest Tana McQuaid, played by Jennifer Coolidge, uh, with promises of an investment to open her own practice. Plot and character details remain on the rest for the new season. Book creator Mike White teases that after season two finale, and he envisions a satirical and funny look at death and Eastern religion, and spiritually potentially um, aligning with Belinda's wellness uh, background. Now, Rothwell's role in The White Lotus earned her nomination for Best Supporting Actress in a Limited Series or an Anthology Series at the 2022 Emmys. Because the series um, returned uh, with reappearing characters after initially being uh, planned as a one-off season, it will now compete uh, for awards in the drama category, as Variety reported back in February. Now, along with the White Lows, Natasha Rafa is also best known for um, for playing Isa Race's close friend on HBO's Insecure, and she's also had roles on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Bojack Horseman, she still lost the scene in Sonic the Hedgehog. Of course, um, she she also was the star of Hulu comedy series How to Die Alone. Uh, so I got you know I think she's really great. Like I thought she still lost the scenes in the first season. So of course the new season is said to take place in Thailand. So I guess she traveled to Thailand to work here. So cool, I guess. Um, but, yeah, it should be interesting to see how good she's going to be in this new season. So, I'm really looking forward to see who else is going to be joining, like, whether it's some returning character, um, cast members, some new cast members, who knows. But it should be interesting. Anyway, let me let you guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on Natasha Raphael since she returned for the White Lotus season three? Were you even a fan of Natasha Raphael's character? Does, are you even interested in does it make you more excited for uh, the White Lotus Season 3? And are you even a fan of the White Lotus? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Serious Science.